the Macalakati Serious Party's policy when they were, I think their, their, their biggest election was the 99 one, and they put out this manifesto which was obviously a piss take of politics but also full of really sound ideas. <laughs> and it's ironic noticing now this whole, you know, this hub model for hospital care which they advocated as a clan based thing, you have every, every home becomes a hospital kind of thing. Um, and they were, yeah, obviously taking the mickey, but it's actually reality. <laughs> What's happening to your situation oh, here? They've, well, they've, this, the hospital here is, it's a, um, oh, I can't remember the exact name of it, but it's a council controlled trust, so they're responsible for the, appointing the personnel who run this trust, who run the hospital. But um, the Southern District Health Board, which is responsible for all of Otago and Southland, I think, um, stepped in and they've appointed a new overall manager, one who's already left. But in the end, it just means that all the long term nursing and hospital and doctors have left just really suddenly and um so what happens so, now if you get sick well now get... they just they everyone just gets flown to Dunedin in helicopters there's right. helicopters landing nearly every day in fact twice three times a day sometimes ferrying everyone to Dunedin and um it's crazy it's just crazy it must be and the locums paying locums wages as opposed to you know yeah. permanent staff so it's actually costing even though the whole point was cost cutting and you know Management strategy is complete. Is, is this where, is this where you, you reconstruct something and fire somebody because mm. you want to save money and then you have to re-employ somebody at twice the price? Yeah, yeah. Kind of yeah, it's just friggin' daft. Just so what you're saying here is you want to be Minister of Health, right? <laughs> no, I certainly do not. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, we're still surrounded by farmers, but there's been a kind of momentum in the township itself of um, arts and culture interested people. Who Where does it come keep, from? Where does the momentum come from? Um, just from what's been generated by the people who are already here and so people keep moving in who are that way inclined and they are the sort of people who do like getting out and meeting people and I guess because it's a it seems to be a lot of new people especially in the last five years or so I think Christchurch yeah. and yeah and it's we've been very lucky actually in the people that we've attracted and when you say we, I, from my point of view, and a lot of people would say it's you. Well, it is kind of me, but I say we as in my, well, myself and Oliver and our little close yeah. circle, yeah. And I always talk about the royal thing. Well, yeah. speaking of royal, yeah. you, you have an Elizabethan, you used to have an Elizabethan parade. Edwardian yeah. now? What are they? Um, they've always been kind of, well, they say they're Victorian, but they're really, they're no particular era. We're, we're getting obsessed with the and comedic um, charm value of the pre-Raphaelites at the moment, the kind of swooning over the top, we're sort of planning some really, um, movable feast tableau things that are yeah. based on the really over the top pre-Raphaelites. Oh, is this, is this so, like yeah. that they used to do with the Caravaggio's paintings, and that, 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 that create a human uh, Yeah, sort of like that, but we want it to be really flexible, so there'll be, it'll be people, where they, I even had this idea for a, um, a kind of a ukulele group that's based on people pretending to play lute and right. decidedly kind of yeah lyrical fashion. Yeah, I hated yeah. ukuleles until my daughter started playing one. <laughs> yeah, they're horrible things. They're well, going to well, be mocked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but, but okay. So I remember you got a whole bunch of people on the street every year to do this march, and one yeah. day the council came to you, the council. Yeah. And they said, Donna, I would like you to get a um, I don't know what kind traffic, of traffic there. management plan. Thank you. Yes, yeah. for about ten thousand or something. It was a thousand. Yeah. Oh, well, ten thousand, thousand. What the fuck? You know, if you're an artist, for us it's yeah, yeah. <laughs> might as well be fifty. And you said, Well, I can't pay that. Yeah. So then you rang up your mates. Mm. Is this right? And well, we said, had we had a chap who, in the end, he did it for us, but um, the whole thing was ludicrous because a couple of businesses did object to the. I mean, the parade lasts literally five minutes. Yeah. And there's hardly ever any traffic around at that time of night anyway. Like people right. drink right. and don't drive. Um, at 6.30 on a Friday or a Saturday or whatever. We just did it anyway. You did it anyway. Yeah. 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 And I reckon I'm a great advocate for this. Mm. From my memory, you rang up your mates and said, look, I'm marching in the street tomorrow. I don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Is that it? Pretty much. That's Because I reconstruct stuff. You know? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Well remembered. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's inspiring yeah. because uh, we are over-regulated in this country. Mm. I know, and it's got worse since then. Like, I yeah. think about that kind of thing a lot at the moment, and just, I, I really hate it when you hear people say things like, um, oh, I'd love to do this or that or the other, but There's I wouldn't, wouldn't even dream about it because the, the, you know, the compliance and the Look, like, C you, word as far as I'm concerned. Years ago, we kidnapped the wizard, yeah. and we burned yeah. up the stake in Hagley Park. We yeah. had everybody there. We stopped traffic, just mm. improvised the whole thing. Yeah. And people from all over Christchurch came. We didn't ask anybody. It was on radio stations. So yep. suddenly there were thousands of people in the park. We had Al Sami there, a huge battle. Mm. It was so much fun. Mm. Everybody was more relaxed or something. And no one ever gets hurt. Mm. Did you hear about the one that was just happened at New Year's Eve at Waitati? That was quite good. The um, McGillicuddy's put up a fake billboard 
saying Waitati Waters, and it was like this. It was actually a photo of a place in Whangamataa, I think it is, somewhere oh, like yeah. that. A real thing that looks like Sylvania Waters, you know, with oh, the, yeah. the waterway and the. And people f so fell for it, they were trying to find a phone number on this billboard, you know, that oh, they could brilliant. ring up and inquire about these sections. So um, they brought down a whole lot of corporate raiders to, to uh, yeah, battle the Waitati militia who went really tropo. They were like these kind of nature loving. Um, yeah. It was brilliant, brilliant piece of street theatre, you know. And good, good fighting. It was brilliant, yeah. The yeah. very first fight I was in with uh, was it, we stopped at half time for a cup of tea. Yeah, they did that and mm. they had they had the slow motion charge and the, oh, the, nice. the um, market forces. <laughs> it was great. It was it was brilliantly done. Okay, so here you are, you're in the middle of a conservative area in the, yeah. in the South Island mm. and you're able to pull this stuff off. Well this was this was the White Hattie. It doesn't we, matter. Were, we were semi observing our brownie pack. We turned okay. up with the Treaty of White Hattie. <laughs> which <laughs> said it had gone to the dogs. But tell, tell me about your brownie pack. Um, well, that was devised as a um, thing to just reinvent that whole joy of just innocent, you know, stupendous fun, really, where you, you got to dance around a toadstool. And like, a toadstool. Yeah, so yeah. we just consider it really ageist that that kind of thing isn't deemed yeah. regulation for adults, you know, so we yeah. thought, bugger it, we'll just start one. But we had badges for bad things, you know, and so they, and that was an interesting experiment because people became obsessed with these badges that were all for you know, barbarism and flatulence and terrorism. And they couldn't, they would steal them off each other. Like, I found it quite fascinating. <laughs> Human being, yeah, irony. Crazy, yeah. yeah. Um, what would you do to change the world? Uh, is there anything, is the world okay? Because uh, one of the reasons you can exist is because the world is dull, and therefore you're a bright colour, and it gives you... Yeah, but I think I'd be that anyway. I think I'd be that. If the world was more pleasant in general, I think I'd still want to be that. It's not like it's a reactionary thing to me. It doesn't. Well, that's for me. It's not like I'm deliberately reacting against that. But more and more so that the world seems to get a lot tougher, I think. You know, like just the, the, the stuff seems to be closing in, the, you know. Yeah. Um, the fire drills... <laughs> Safety. Oh, I hate it all. Um, but yeah, I do. I do have fears for the way it's going. That that kind of level of intrusion into people's lives and the way they're getting just brainwashed by it, you know. And just yeah. I, I find that really sad. And well, we used yeah. to have a duck shooting season where I live, but now we shoot down drones. Yeah. And I've got them tied onto the wall. They don't taste good, but you know, it piss people off. <laughs> Plucking drones. Plucking drones. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so um, to be serious, mm, of um, <laughs> would you be, this is why I came here to ask mm. you if you'd be our minister, our shadow, shadow minister of arts. Shadow minister of arts? No, shadow, shadow, shadow minister. <laughs> of your shadow minister <laughs> of shadows. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, thank you very much. Oh, well. Sounds great. <laughs> well, should, should, I, should I fuck off now and go and interview somebody else? <laughs> <laughs> Millie's model was lying in a bath. Yeah. Yeah, Elizabeth Siddell. Yeah, she got um, she got pneumonia, I think. Did you get Did you get the flu? No, well, it was um, it was in October and it was a really cold day, like unusually cold. It was about six degrees and it was yeah. freezing. And I stepped in thinking it would be, you know, quite shallow, and it went straight down. <laughs> so I had to go and find a little bit on the edge. Okay, to, and, and you got duckage. Yeah, don't, don't get, get it. Duckage. Don't get duckage. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> so. <horrible. laughs> So you didn't, you didn't have a health and safety plan for that? Well, I, I ran a hot bath in the house, which is across the road from the gardens, and literally ran up the bath to the bath. But yeah, they didn't leave yet, duck it. <laughs>